We are now joined by Mr. Atul Arya, Head Energy Systems Division, Panasonic. Thank you so much for speaking with us, sir. And my first question to you is, um, you know, when we talk about India and the EV industry, how are we as a country tackling battery wastage or e-wastage? Okay. So there are uh, certain regulations which Government of India has come in with. So basically aligned with e-waste uh, management rules. These are very recently announced and they put some liability, very stringent liabilities on the consumer companies who are building these products to eventually collect from the market and recycle them. But I see another potential problem in this that as a country we are bringing in also very low cost batteries which means that the need of recycling will be much quicker than what the rules mandate therefore there will be a lot of e-waste which will be left untreated and some of the battery chemistries which are being imported are essentially not recyclable in the sense that you can't recover much out of it which means that it is going to be a cost to the companies to recover that and that's why there will be resistance and reluctance to do that. So I think we need to tighten it a little bit more than what we have today. Thank you for that. And my next question to you is, um, from your perspective, um, when do you foresee EVs in general becoming more affordable? Um, I think over a period of next two to three years is the timeline where I see there will be an affordability because we already have a large number of EVs being sold but primarily because of subsidy happening. Now, over a period of time when the volume will become bigger, which means the supply chains will become more efficient and not just the battery cost, but also the rest of the vehicle costs will also eventually go down and this will become affordable. And secondly, people will also start to treat it as a very good category because right now people are buying just because of subsidy, but later on people will become used to it and will start to feel it being more affordable. So I think this will be a combination of these two things. And finally, of course, um, how would you say this platform curated by ET Auto, which is the EV conclave, is different from the rest or what could be the highlights of this? So I think ET Auto perhaps is one of the best platforms. I, have, I, I go and speak in many panel discussions, but the audience itself is very, very well informed here. And uh, the way it is curated is that you bring in a lot of experts from multi disciplines, not just from one discipline and bring in different points of views. And many times it's not just that I'm sharing, but I'm also carrying back a lot of learning which I hear from the co-panelists or the other speakers. So great work by the Thank you so much for speaking with us, sir. And uh, please stay tuned for more updates from day one of ET Auto EV Conclave.